Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very exciting video of radical equations, we'll be solving for real value of x. Equation is x power 9 over 8 plus x power 3 over 4 plus x power 3 over 8 equal to 14. While solving this problem, we'll use quadratic equations, we'll use algebraic manipulation, we'll find out real and imaginary solutions, and then we will conclude our result. So let's get started. Why this problem is special? Because in this problem we will find two substitutions by conventional method. If you will do any manipulation, then you will get only one substitution. Let's get started. We will talk in between. Let me substitute. But before that, we have to find out LCM. See, the denominators are 4. 8 and 8. So we will find out the LCM first. So if you will find out, then it will come out 8. Okay. Now, first substitution which we will give that is x is equal to t raised to the power LCM, which means it will become t raised to the power 8. Okay. Let's substitute there. In the original equation, I will write t raised to the power 8. So, if I will use that property a power b whole power c, then directly I can write a power b c. So, let me multiply directly 8 times 9 over 8 plus t power 8 times 3 over 4 plus t power 8 times 3 over 8 equal to 14. Now you can see 8 will be over. Here we will cancel 4 and 8. So we will get 2. Here 8 will be cancelled out. So what is left? t power 9 plus t power 6 plus t power 3 equal to 14. Now again, we will provide substitution. You can see why substitution because of this step. I can write t power 9 as t power 3 whole square, 6 as t power 3, this is whole cube, t power 3 whole square plus t power 3 equal to 14. Okay. Now you can easily see inside the bracket we are having t cube. So let consider t cube is equal to suppose u. So equation will become u cube plus u square plus u equal to 14. Again I will take all the terms towards left. So u cube plus u square plus u minus 14 equal to 0. Now as you can see number cube, number square, number minus 14. So can we split 14? Yes, we can write. Let me write here u cube plus u square plus u minus 8 minus 4 minus 2. Number cube, number square, number number is 2 equal to 0. In next step, I would write u cube minus 8 plus u square minus 4 plus u minus 2 equal to 0. Okay. Let me write here once u cube minus 8 plus u square minus 4 plus u minus 2. Remember our substitution. Initially we gave x is equal to t power 8. Then we substituted u equal to t cube. Okay. Now I will apply algebraic identities. How? This is u cube minus 2 cube. 
a q minus b q plus difference of a squares. So u is square minus 2 is square and here I am going to do nothing. I will write u minus 2 as it is. Alright. Now I will consider the formula of or algebraic identity a q minus b q is equal to a minus b a square plus b square plus a b. This is what we know. And difference of a square, a square minus b square, a plus b times a minus b. Let's put here. So once I will write there, then it will give us something common. So let me write u minus 2 in bracket u square plus 4 plus 2u. This is a q minus b q u q minus 2 q. Now come to the difference of a square. Here I will write u plus 2 times u minus 2 and last term as it is. Now you can see there are three terms where we are having u minus 2 common. You can see u minus 2, u minus 2, u minus 2. So let me write, let me take u minus 2 common out. So what would be left inside the bracket? That would be u square plus 2u plus 4 plus u plus 2. And once you will take u minus 2 common from here, it will be 1 left equal to 0. So it will give us u minus 2 u square plus 3u plus 7 equal to 0. Let me solve this quadratic first. So I will write because of this product is 0. So we can consider either u minus 2 equal to 0. So from there we will having u equal to 2. And from quadratic equation you will get u equal to not you will get we will get u equal to minus b so minus 3 plus minus square root 9 minus 28 over 2 this value will come out negative 3 plus square root negative 19 so because of inside square root there is negative sign i will take i outside negative that's why it is i now square root 19 over 2. Because of it is complex solution, so we will reject this. Rejected because of complex solution. So what is accepted? That is u equal to. Let's substitute back the value of substitution. Means u is equal to 2. So what will be the value of t? Let me write t will be equal to u power 1 by 3. So it will become 2 power 1 by 3. Okay. Now this is t. Now x would be equal to t power 8. So it will come out 2 raised to the power 8 over 3. I will put 1 by 3. 1 by 3 into 8. So I am writing directly. Our answer is. 2 power 8 over 3. Now we are going to verify this. So let me write here the value of x first. 2 raised to the power 8 over 3. Okay. Let me put here. I will write 2 raised to the power 8 over 3 times 9 over 8 plus 2 raised to the power 8 over 3 times 3 over 4 plus 2 raised to the power 8 over 3 times 3 over 8. Now you can see most of the terms you will get cancelled out. Now write what is left. 2 raised to the power 3 plus 2 raised to the power 2 plus 2. 8 
plus 4 plus 2, 14, which is our right hand side. That means our answer is x is equal to 2 power 8 over 3 is the correct answer. Now one more thing. Second approach. See, equation is 9 over 8, 3. I am talking about exponent. 9 over 8, 3 over 4, 3 over 8. We can start with x power 9 over 8 as it is plus x power 3 over 4. I will write 6 over 8 directly multiplying numerator denominator by 2 plus x power 3 over 8. Now, if someone is substituting x power 3 over 8 as t, then this equation will convert t cube plus t square plus t, same thing you will get by only one substitution. Okay. This is how we can consider the second approach by considering substitution only once. Again, you will get the same result. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe, like and share. Bye-bye till next video.